After Hurricane Michael, the number of dead as a result of the storm is climbing. Tonight, at least 32 people are dead across the South, and 22 of those deaths are in Florida. New video of the widespread damage is coming into our newsroom. This is drone video from Mexico Beach, where you can see dozens of homes just wiped out, and then the remaining homes severely damaged. And Sky 4 drone flew over Panama City. In this clip, you can see gas station awnings ripped off, windows boarded up in the commercial areas there in Panama City. And tonight, recovery crews are working around the clock to help residents get back into their homes. Teams from across the state have been working long days trying to help the people of the Panhandle. Yeah, I embedded with the Jacksonville region's Urban Search and Rescue Unit Tuesday. And then today, another team from Jacksonville returned, the Fire Rescue Medical Strike Team. They're back in Jacksonville, but they may have left their hearts in northwest Florida. It's a bit emotional. It was very rewarding. And to see the staff at the hospital when we arrived, I mean, just you could tell they really were thankful that we'd gotten there. 14 people deployed into the heart of Hurricane Michael's devastation, deployed to fill the void of medical attention, a void carved out by a Category 4 storm. They left a week ago and seem like they will never forget what they saw and some of what we captured with the Sky 4 drone. Yeah, I, I could I could see the comparison to a war zone. Uh, I've never been in a war zone either, but if I if I had to imagine, I, I would think it would be something like that. Uh, just the 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 fact that it, it was a storm, wind, water, rain, but it uprooted trees. It ripped bricks from fronts of buildings. It tore the roofs off. So whenever you whenever you think about not evacuating, just think about this. The medical strike team easily saw the needs and did their best to meet them. They also earned the gratitude of the people who have months and probably years of recovery ahead. They had lost power, so that also affects their oxygen and you know, ventilators and IV pumps and all that. So they were desperate to get the patients out as quickly as they could to another hospital that continue that care. So we took 10 patients and we transported them to Pensacola. When we got to the devastated areas, even though they had suffered such loss, some of them hadn't even seen their homes yet. They knew that their homes had been destroyed. They were concerned about whether or not we were comfortable. But again, just continuously expressing how grateful they were for us to be there. And the rewarding, I mean, there's just, there's no way that you can put any words to that. The medical strike team already thinking about how to be even more effective in the future. They're talking about brainstorming ways to get closer to the hardest hit areas sooner and then bring the right equipment to make sure that they're able to meet the needs.